this is my day 69 nice video here at UPC and I'll title this one enraging so I woke up in the morning headed over to tutorial um, it was fine <laughs> none of my group showed up so I kind of just joined like another group and just sat with them <laughs> just worked yeah. <laughs> I don't know, everybody's skipping a bunch of lectures lately. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just worked the majority of it. The last two questions were like considerably tougher than the rest. So I saved those for later. <laughs> um, then after that I headed over, I had like a 30 minute break. So I went and got myself some sushi actually from one of the shops. They sell flex dollars. So that's why I went there. It was actually quite good. It was, it's fresh. It, like they were freshly made and um, the crab was really, really tasty, actually. I'm, I'm quite happy with how, how it tasted. Like, a lot better than I thought it would, so, yeah. And hopefully I don't get food poisoning. <laughs> um, and yeah, and basically as I was eating, um, the chairs, uh, the, well, sorry, the grades for the first project in Apsai, the chairs, uh, was released. Um, yeah, my group didn't do good. Um, I, we have three parts and the three parts aren't weighed equally but I'm not sure how they're weighed so I weighed them equally and basically the grade that we got was a 75.1 like across the three parts um, which I think is pretty bad considering this project is worth like 13.3% of our final grade like the 75 is pretty bad um, and yeah like I texted my group mates straight away and one of my groupmates responds with, what do you mean? That's a W. As in like, so he was really happy with a 75, which, yeah, just goes to show like how limited I am by my groupmates. Like they're perfectly content having a 75. So that, that was, yeah, great. And basically like, after that, I went to chem lecture. Like everybody's sitting in a chem lecture talking about the grades and like no one's really paying attention to the lecture. Um, and as we're talking, freaking midterm exam was released as well for Apsai. And I got a 75.5 on that one as well, which was just wonderful. Like, uh, I don't remember exactly what I said after I took the midterm exam, but I did not think I was going to do this bad. Uh, but then again, I, like, I knew back, even back then that like the score could be anything. It could have been a 99. It could have been a 52. Like I honestly had no idea of knowing what I scored on the exam because every question is just so ambiguous. But yeah, 75.5. Not good. Also, another bad score. That was not very, that did not make me happy. <laughs> the average for the midterm was a 68. So above average, yay. Um, but yeah. I don't know. I was not happy with that. Basically, 23% of my grade, like 10% the midterm and 13% the project, is a 75. So that tanked my grade. Like I'm keeping track with it with like an Excel sheet, and I input in the grades, and my grade like went flying from like a 97 to an 80. So yeah, I'm sitting an 80 right now on AppSite. It's pretty bad like that, that's really really bad um and i don't know how it will increase i did some like rough calculations and basically if i get like a 90 and above on the next two projects and on the final i will still only have like an 87 in the class so yeah i don't know if an a is even doable basically by the end of the year or end semester which is that did not make me happy when I figured that out yesterday, not gonna lie. Like, very unhappy. Uh, but yeah, that was that. At least during chem lecture, um, at least there was like one good thing that happened. And that like, I finally found the smart people. Like, okay, that sounds really mean. And of course there are plenty of other smart people, but I finally found like the geniuses. Um, one guy I know from Muay Thai who's also in engineering, he got like a 92 on the first physics midterm. I didn't know that. He he, he scored higher than me on the AppSite midterm as well. Um, and then like two other guys are sitting like next to him as well. 
One of them got like an 88 on the midterm. So, and then the fourth guy got like a 99 on the midterm. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's like, I was sitting with them and man, th those guys were working at like an insane speed. Um, especially the guy from Muay Thai that I know, he was working on chem assignments and he completed the worksheet and like more than half of the achieve during chem lecture, like in an hour and a half kind of span. And like, I was, I was kind of paying attention to the lecture, but then we moved on to unit eight, which wasn't going to be in the midterm. So I stopped paying attention because I'm not going to learn new content. Um, so I started working the achieve too. And but I basically started working the achieve about the same time my friend from Muita started working. And like this, the difference in our speeds was noticeable. Like that guy just knew and he just worked and worked. Like, and I was over here like <laughs> slow AF, not going to lie. But then also I haven't really been paying that much attention in chemistry. No, that's not what I mean, but as in like, I haven't really solidified my understanding. So I was thinking through the problems rather than just solving them while the guy from Muay like I think he already knew how to do them, so he was just solving them. So a bit of a difference, but so that guy was that really, really fast. Um, and yeah, after that, there was gonna be a physics lecture, but I was really just not in the mood to stay behind for, for physics. So I skipped, or you know, just, I just like left and went back to my dorm um, and just grinded the rest of that chem assignment. Or like, I grinded as much of that chem assignment as I could do. I got to like the last four questions and those were like, they looked really, really tough. They had like really, really big molecules and I had to do breaking and like, of bonds. Like bond and enthalpy is kind of, but there was just a lot of them. And I really did not want to deal with that. So I kind of just gave up. Um, and then I went and got myself food instead, <laughs> you know, get, um, yeah, it was fine. I like, ate, I got a lot of food. Like I did not mean to get, I did not think it was that much food, but like as I was eating and I realized like, well, this is a lot of food. <laughs> um, and then after that I had a physics quiz. Um, the physics quiz was fine. Like I can, I know it's now a day later, like not even that much later. It's like 12 hours later. A bit more, but um, the greater you release for the quiz, and I got one question wrong. I mean, that one question is like, so stupid. Um, just really, it's annoying. Kind of like one question wrong is like an 80 straight away, right? And my grain of physics has been tanking too. Um, like it's now a 90, it was 92, it's a 90 now. It's like everything's dropping. Like, I'm, I don't know why I'm struggling to maintain my grades, but. It's dumb stuff like that, and it's like, it builds really fast. Anyways, sorry, that was a long tangent. Um, then, yeah, after that, I like, finished up a, the tutorial from earlier. Honestly, the last two questions were not as bad as I thought. Also, finished up the Chief assignment, like, last, like, four questions that I thought were really tough. They were not nearly as tough as I thought they'd be. They were massive molecules, but the amount of bonds being broken and formed was actually quite minimal, so it was easy to calculate. And then I went and had a dinner, like some friends just like all of them did pretty bad on the chair and the midterm. And like it was just kind of a wake up call to all of us that like this isn't a joke, so like stop slacking. But it's not like I was slacking in any way either. It's not like I stopped putting in effort like the reason I my grade in physics dropped because like one quiz I got one question wrong because I used the wrong coefficient, like I used three over two instead of five over two, and then like this physics quiz I got one question wrong because like I overthought it basically like you could say, and I don't know it's like I'm I'm basically there in terms of like understanding it's just like but my grades are dropping I'm struggling to maintain them. So yeah, this was like a wake up call. It's like, it's time to get serious, it's time to lock in. But yeah, like, when the grades came out, it was quite enraging to be honest. Especially when I like message my group and the guy's like, oh, this is great. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, whatever, and then after dinner I came back, played a bit of Fortnite and just went to sleep. Not much happened. I didn't record the day 69 video then because yeah, I was really, really tired at that point. 
Um, but yeah, so a bunch of bad grades came in. At least one good grade did come in. Uh, the third chem quiz, I got a 92 on. I got like only one point off. So I am happy with that. My grade in chem went up by 0.4, which is just lovely. <laughs> but yeah, 92, good, good. Finally a good chem quiz grade. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really, really happy with that. Also in chem, supposedly your lowest quiz gets dropped. I need to double check the syllabus, but that's what my friend said. So if that first 50 that I got gets dropped, then like, hell yeah, this will, this will be really, really good. So ho hoping for that. Um, furthermore, apps, I also, my grade should increase a bit. There's like some quizzes that need to be re So there are some like bonus quizzes that we did. And if you do all nine bonus quizzes, you get one point added to your final grade, which is quite substantial. But then furthermore, it also supposedly each quiz, each one of those nine quizzes replaces one of your lowest quiz grades in AppSign. And like, I haven't said this before, but we, we have a lot of quizzes in AppSign. It's like, let me pull up the Excel sheet right now. I can, I can say, one moment, give me a moment. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cut to this. I just, I'm just, I really wanna show you or count how many quizzes we've had so far. So in AppSay, we've had 30 individual quizzes and 26 like team assignments. And it's a lot actually. Um, but the quizzes that I took individually, I'm pretty sure they replaced my individual quizzes. So those 30 quizzes so far, right? I still have like four more weeks. Um, and basically I do have some pretty bad grades. And those like whenever, if I ever say like I did pretty bad on the weekly quizzes, as it, that means like I got like a 3.33 or something out of five. So if they get replaced by like a 90 and above them, they'll also change my grade of a bit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hoping, hoping for that. Furthermore, there's still some points that are like loose. So I'm hoping my grade is higher than what I think it is. But as it stands right now, I'm, I'm, I'm like undercutting myself right now, but yeah, I haven't. Oh, I have an 81 in AppSight right now. And 82 if you count the bonus points. So yeah, hope hopefully I can get it up to 90. I think I think it's doable, but the final, like I have to do good on the final and I, I don't know how to prepare. I, I need to talk to the professors or something. So yeah, oh well, that's that. Um, I'm, I think I'm done with this video. I don't know, I, I don't know how long I've talked or so, yeah, no, I'm not happy with my grades right now. Like that's the motive right now. That's that's what's going through my head right now. I'm gonna like lock in. So yeah. with that, I'm done. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.